Technology and industry always huge when it comes to the economy. Joining us now is Anthony Chan, former chief economist at J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. Anthony, thanks so much. Let's take a look at what you what your big takeaway uh, is here. Uh, obviously, some improvements year to year, as well as the first half of 2023 to where it is now. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with the uh, latest GDP numbers uh, that, that were reported in the third quarter. Because when you look at those numbers, not only was it impressive that on a year-over-year -year basis, it was basically almost hugging the 5% growth number. But when you look at the third quarter number, quarter-over-quarter -quarter growth, it was almost three times as fast as the second quarter. That tells me that there is growing momentum. And the areas that we were most worried about, namely consumer spending, right. started performing on all cylinders. So we are seeing that. We're still seeing weakness in housing, but everyone knows that China wants to promote quality growth, and they don't view housing as, as much uh, of a quality performer as the other sectors, which are performing quite well. You know, you're talking about consumer spending, and I, I want to get back to that, because when you have a middle class of hundreds of millions of people, that is just going to be huge. So what does this mean? Kind of talk a little bit more about it and how you think that this could help the global economy. I mean, there's no question China has been arguably the key, uh, key key economic engine over the past 15, 20 years to keep the global economy uh, up, up and running. That's right, Sean. And in fact, if you saw the retail sales numbers, they also came in stronger than expected, which means that there is an opportunity for Chinese consumers to actually import products if there is growing demand, and that will give a boost to the overall economy. That was one of the weakest links over the last couple of years, and now we are starting to unwind that weakness and it's starting to, to grow a little bit stronger and, and certainly stabilize, which is certainly a very impressive green shoots that we're seeing now with the Chinese economy. So it is uh, certainly a welcome development. Uh, let's talk a bit more about uh, the industrialization as well as the technology, because uh, earlier we had a story about the, the, the battle for lithium and so many um, minerals that are so important in moving forward with EV uh, and other green uh, engineering, if you will. Where does China, what, what would you say China is doing there right now? Are, are there reasons to feel really good about it moving forward? Well, the, China is rich with a lot of those resources, whether it be lithium, whether it be graphite. These are materials that are crucial for the electric vehicle uh, industry. And so they are sitting in a very, very good position. And it's going to be up to China whether or not they want to export these products uh, to other countries or whether they want to use it as leverage uh, in the growing uh, technology war between China and the United, and United States or with Europe or with other countries around the world. But it certainly shows the rest of the world that China does have some important raw materials that the rest of the world needs very badly. Yeah, not to mention uh, the rare earth elements as well. But I want to ask you about China's youth, because uh, unemployment's been a big problem, uh, and certainly that is weighing on a nation with 1.4 billion people. Is there any kind of positive you can take away from today's announcement uh, to the country's young? Well, I think that the announcement suggests that China is serious about tackling that problem uh, and the fact that consumer spending is picking up. All that really means that if you have faster growth, a lot of these uh, unemployed youth, and it is very high, mm. we have certainly in the United States experienced that during the global pandemic, but if you get faster economic growth, many of these young workers will be absorbed into the economy. The problem was that over the last couple of years, you saw a reduction in the growth rate of consumer spending, and now you're starting to see a little bit of an acceleration. So that certainly is a, a positive. That will hopefully give a, a shot in the arm or a boost to consumer and business confidence that will, in fact, make this uh, problem less onerous over time. Yeah, Anthony, it's really hard to overstate just how important confidence in spending is. I really want to thank you for your time on this Friday evening. Have a great weekend, my friend. My pleasure.